today I thought I would do my Ipsy bag unbagging, unboxing, because there's not much else I have energy for. But we're gonna do this, yay! I'm actually, I actually am very excited to see this. It felt like it took forever for it to come. Like when they first tell you, like your Ipsy bag is on its way. It takes forever. I'm like, why, like, why would you put me through this? <laughs> um, okay, so comes out, it has those YouTubers. I don't know. It's a piece of paper. Okay, so this is the bag. I love this and it's such a practical bag. I was wondering what was in here because I was like, why is it so, the box, like what the bag, I mean, I'm going to keep calling it a box, but I was like, why is it so flat? Like it doesn't feel like there's room for like lipstick or like lip pencil or anything, but this is a really nice bag. Um, my mom will probably steal this from me for her bag, like to put in her purse, but such a nice thing to put in a purse because usually they're so round or bulky or something like that but anyways I'm sorry I'm going on so much about this but it's just such a beautiful like dark teal color and it's probably like my favorite makeup bag I've ever gotten from Ipsy or any free place or ever bought in or bought in you just please just bought anywhere so I love it so I don't even care what's in it that's why I'm so excited but we are gonna look what's inside because it's just bonus right okay so nope that's not even everything wow that's a lot of stuff okay so the first thing that I get out of here is from star looks and it's in the color guilty pleasure and it's just a, an adorable, cute little lipstick, lip gloss type thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like holding it. I always do that. I like hold it all the way over here. Um, and it's kind of like that cool 90s Kylie Jenner lipstick that everybody's like freaking out about. They're just like kind of calling it the Kylie Jenner lipstick. But I lived through the 90s, so I call it 90s lipstick, which it really even wasn't. Um, a more accurate 90s lipstick was kind of like a berry almost, like kind of like a punk punk color, like the grunge punk, but yeah, I guess in the grunge they kind of did wear, they didn't really wear lipstick to be honest with you, because um, they were grungy and they wanted to look like they just came out of bed, but uh, yeah, it's kind of that color, Bella's really into it, so gotta be beautiful. I just wanted to see if it was a lip gloss or a lipstick. I have to be honest with you, I did look at watch Leanne's video, so I did see the bag and I was really excited and wanted to get it, but I just want to give you a heads up that if I'm not surprised by something, that's why. It's actually very light because I thought it was going to be kind of my lip color but better because I have really not much lip color at all but it really just kind of looks like a gloss but it is a gloss a colored gloss but I love it because I don't really like to look like I have lipstick on so I love it and it doesn't have a weird smell or anything that's not super sticky so the next thing is by Albertini International it has a really cool logo although okay and it's called warm love it sounds like a porn or something doesn't it maybe that's just me I don't know and it's a pumpkin exfoliating mask. Ooh, I'm totally into pump. Pumpkin spice everything, guys. No, actually, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin anything. Um, I make a mean pumpkin pie, but I don't actually eat it. Oh, it looks weird, but it does look like a mask. And it, it smells like pumpkin, pumpkin pie. So, that'd be nice. I like exfoliating masks. Not crazy about the scent, but I'm sure a lot of people that got this were really, really excited because I know it's a really popular fragrance. So the next thing is this Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. I don't know what that means, and it's 100% all natural, paraben-free, phthalate-free 
apply a small amount of cleanser to wet face, gently massage and rinse face with warm water. So there's absolutely no description whatsoever. I'll have to look it up online, I guess, but I don't know what it does to brighten. It's just a gel cleanser inside. So, but cool. I'm not really into just trying random stuff on my face as a cleanser, but it's a cool travel size, I guess. Or just, I'll probably get us to someone is what I'm trying to say. Um, the next thing I have is Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner by Scone. Scone Cosmetics. Which I'd be super duper excited about this if I hadn't just gotten the Urban Decay 24-7 waterproof eyeliner so I don't know unless this is like a different sort of eyeliner you know how there's liquid gel um, but I really 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 love the 24-7 Urban Decay eyeliners I used all my points to get one and the other one I got in my last ipsy bag I think and it was a purple and I absolutely loved it and they do really really stay so but this is always something that is cool to try or give to somebody. Let's take a look see. Alright cool so this is a marker felt type shindig. Um, and so you get kind of a mark like that and you can be really precise. So this would be really cool. I'm actually very excited about this now because my other one is uh, just a regular pencil. And so I use it in my water waterline because if anything else does not stay, like it goes immediately. But I guess this would be really cool for once I get really good at doing <laughs> A wing eyeliner on top because right now I'm not so great and using a waterproof one would be very scary so when I get really good this will be awesome and the next thing I have oh if you watch Leanne's video if I um, am awake and having the energy I will really try to put Leanne's on bagging <laughs> unboxing of her ipsy but she talks about this because i guess she has like a glam room or something i don't actually know that much about ipsy i don't go on the website or anything i guess i should uh but i guess you can have like a glam room of things that you hope you can get or something and she was i guess looking at reviews of stuff and i guess the flavor that i got in this the roseberry she said people really thought were awful so <laughs> I got it Leanne! She said she was so excited she got Mandarin something or other in hers and I was just like I hope I don't get the rose but I got it! It's the Figs and Rouge Nourishing and Soothing Hand Cream with Shea Butter Pure and Natural so let me give it a try and see what I think but it's weird for people to say they don't like rose scented stuff because that's like all the rage right now so it must be truly offensive. Let's give it a go. Why not? I love it. It smells like candy. I absolutely love it. it people probably didn't like it because it's not very rose scented which is why I love it because I'm actually not a huge fan of rose. This is like the everybody's gonna hate me in this because I don't like pumpkin and don't like rose and that's like so popular right now but it smells amazing like so freaking good so I don't know why people didn't like it maybe just because it wasn't as rose scented it doesn't have like a really overpowering I like the rose and berry together um, this might actually make me sneeze but I'm gonna be giving this to my mom because I'm not much of a I have really soft hands I have like the hands of a child so um, I'll probably get this but it's made in the UK that's kind of cool uh, so that is my Ipsy bag unbagging, unboxing, whatever you want to say, first impression. I'm very happy, especially because of just this bag, <laughs> because I think it is so freaking gorgeous and it's really well made and beautiful. So, and uh, things in it were cool. So that's just an added bonus. But I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. 
I am sending out X double O's and thank you guys so much for the love and support in the comments. I so appreciate it and I will try to get back to each and every one of you. And um, as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bella pipes up. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>